I didn't think Tory Lanez was good enough for niggas to be defending him in the first place. Thanks for tuning in to the No Clearance Podcast. Now subscribe, hit that like button, and enjoy the clip. No Clearance. First thing I wanted to talk about was I wanted to get on a goddamn mic and talk about Megan the motherfucking stallion. Yeah, she's been ju- she's been justified. <laughs> she's been relieved of the stress. This too been- shall pass. Yes. Fuck you, Tory. Finally, something good. And fuck everybody that said, oh, the bitch is lying. Wooty, wooty, woo. Motherfucker did it. My whole Caught thing on is audio like, on a brrr, what, call. They got this about. Thing. Did he not know that they record the phone calls when you in jail? I mean, I don't think this <laughs> man is watching short, but I didn't think he was Law and Order SVU. I, I mean, every, you know, know what I mean? First 48. There's so many law shows that maybe tell you, hey, Canada. motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Maybe. Maybe in Canada they don't record those lies, but I don't oh, know. Oh, they respect privacy in he Canada? He snitched out this, I'm, You're telling me the whole time they had this recorded. <laughs> but you see how they, and I think that's some sneaky motherfucking shit too. I'm going to be honest. Well, you I think they couldn't drag? release it. They couldn't release that. That would have messed up the case. They would have They would have thrown it out. It would have mm. been, been thrown out. Especially okay. if it got out. If they already had it and then it got leaked, then it, they would have thrown out the case because then evidence. So they then had to keep that wrap, but mm. like... You're telling me the whole time Meg knew was Meg was like they know, they go they heard all this shit. It's like you know they gonna find out the truth gonna come out. I just you know she just kept doing what she was doing. Good how you feel, her. Casey? How you? I, I mean, you, you kind of been express yourself, but I mean, I'm gonna her. be honest. Santa came early. <laughs> 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 you know, God is good all the time. All the time, He is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to say that I I think we got fixated on who did it. I don't give a fuck if Nemo did it. Somebody shot the girl. The girl was shot. Yeah. Period blank. That was a period point blank. That was it's, not okay. Uh, and I think that's the thing that I was like frustrated with is like, I get it, right? We want to know who did it. It doesn't matter. The girl was harmed and mm-hmm. it wasn't okay. Now I heard a perspective of some girl, she was like, oh, well, you want to, Megan want to uplift black women, but then you want to sleep with the girl who should not be named. You know, you want to mess with people that she's messed with or something like that. And I'm just like, I'm not saying like, that's not a valid point or whatever. What's but I'm valid also about like, that? That don't sound valid to me at all. It do yeah. sound valid. I, I would say, I get where she was coming from. She was saying, how you going to uplift black women? And then you're going to turn around and do a black woman dirty. I understood the connection she was trying to make. Where I do not... Wait, hold on oh, now. Okay. Okay. Where I do not get it is the justification of it being like, oh, it's okay for her to get shot because she, you okay. know, fucked, okay. fucked around. Was she was that- more so justifying the fact that she... Uh, she was trying to basically call her... A, um, what do you call it? She's not practicing what she preaches, essentially. Like, mm. you talk about uplifting black women... But here you are doing your homegirl dirty like that. But here's my thing. She kind of be preaching all that shit, though. Don't she? She be she talking about... I don't know what she be preaching, technically speaking, but if you just go about the music... She preaching, like, protect the black woman, uplift the black woman, which I don't ever... I've never heard her do or say anything to combat that. So, and I mean, bitches fuck on niggas all the time. Let's stop acting like... she. Yeah, I don't think that... (laughs) Makes it means she's not uplifting black women just because she stole some girls, some some dudes from some some. And how do we know her friend didn't sit a man? How do mm-hmm. my thing is my thing is if her friend was white, she still probably would have stole them niggas. It's just like I think she's just, I think it's like she just goes take a nigga. She, she just don't do people dirty. I guess she do her <laughs> girls dirty. That's why you know. That's why Real that friendship girl probably deteriorated. <laughs> she probably learned her lesson from that. I didn't think Tory Lanez was good enough for niggas to be defending him in the first place. The, it, hey, you hit let's the let's, let's add to that. In the gravity in which they were defending the man. Yeah. I didn't understand it. Like, it, this nigga is not the it, I, he not the greatest artist. Like, I, I, I was very confused. I was very confused. Like, niggas was standing up for him like he was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Hey. Like, what? Yo, they was. Yeah. Co- I didn't know so many people liked Tory Lanez. To be honest, like I, 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 I didn't. I didn't understand cool. it either. I didn't his know music that. Is cool, but I'm like, I could leave him in 2022. I'd be straight. If I ain't hear another yeah. Tory Lanez song, I'm good. 
Hey, I listened to a Tory Lane song since that shit happened, and my life mm. is completely fine. I'm I not, ain't missing I'm nothing. Not, I I feel I, like I ain't missing nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm 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 hop on the mic yet again. I swear to God, before the trial and all this other stuff, that nigga shit never popped up on my music. Okay, mm. I have never heard "I Ain't Been Broken a Minute" pop up on my shit hey, as I much will. as it does now. To the point where I'm just like, man, I was Damn. not. Putting this bitch in rotation before. I Why like are you forcing this upon me? You think he put money into it so he could try? I and get swear, oh, I, yeah, for I sure. Wouldn't, he had to. I wouldn't doubt it. He had to, he had to do something. The label had to is, do something. That's an investment. Yeah. They, they put a lot my, of money. Yeah, they trying to get they, they, they shit My back. thing is, I'm just still impressed that Tory Lanez even got to the point where he is now because I remember listening to watching his music videos on War Star back in like 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I was like, oh, this guy's good. But, like, I didn't think he was going to be, like, a top artist for, like, he, but yeah. he was a top artist for, like, a week because he had a top chart I mean, song. At the time, yeah. it was He had a couple chart songs. Bryson. So, like, like, you know. Moment, it was him and Bryson Tiller, like, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Like, 2016 was a strong year for him. Yeah. I 2016 also think was a real too, strong year. People, I, I, Tori, you, you, you got fame or you get hype off of other people's songs. Like I've yeah. never, I, I don't, I cannot think of any of his like chart topping shit. That's not his shit. It's like a it's remix to some other cover. Body. You yeah, know, he, yeah. he's a cover artist. He's a fraud. <laughs> Literally, he's a cover artist. And Remember, he like made a, that album I where mean, he spoke whole, in between every song. Oh, that whole was whole al- He's done whole albums of just straight up covers, yeah. glorified covers. Let's the chicks tapes. I mean, I will admit, he did make good. some solid music. I'm not gonna say like he was a bum. But like, he made some solid music, and there's no need to defend this nigga. That's yeah, no really need it. to defend not the to way the they gravity did. in which people were doing. I absolutely agree. They was at like this nigga was Jay Z. They was at like this nigga was Drake. They were acting like this nigga walk they, on water. Yeah, like, they was God clapping damn. for him like he paid everybody's mama's hot bills you, and state yeah. protect. Like I was like, okay, was crazy. And it's like I was like, again, oh, let me like, find out he done paid if, all these motherfuckers off. Even mm-hmm. if he didn't do it, like. For Meg to be, you know, to, doubted to be shot and to mm. be hurt in his presence, and you yeah. know, she was like that close to the situation. You mm. really got to start questioning the man. You yeah, exactly. Yeah. If if there was another man there that shot her and he didn't do nothing, and he's the one that's being blamed for it, yeah. Why would you take that blame? You know what I'm saying? Why right. would you? Why would you not tell them like, hey, I didn't do it. This person did it. Unless you did it yourself. Like, you just lying to the world, telling them, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. It didn't go that way. It didn't go that way. It don't matter which way it went. You still had a gun and shot at her. Even if it was like, oh, it didn't go that way. You guys was arguing. That's besides Mm. the fact. That's not okay. Like, God forbid, if it was such a, I'd rather he put his hands on it and shoot at her. At least... If you put a hit, he put it, but it's still a terrible thing. But he's still like you have to consciously take the gun out. Like if you hit her, like oh, smacked her, it's a mm-hmm. emotional reaction. Like you can't control you. Sometimes when you you're upset, you Reflex. can't control exactly. Yeah. If she put his her hands on him and stuff, right? Because apparently she was giving the one two. That's mm-hmm. why her I heard she was two pieces of that nigga in the car. Mm-hmm. But like I understand a situation like that. He put his hands on her in that situation, and I, like okay, it's not you know like it's not okay, but like. That's more understandable. You had to reach in your fucking bag. And it was, pull it out was a gun. what do they call it? Premeditated. Yeah, that no. shit was premeditated. Like it's the because you had you, you you're gonna tell me that you didn't think you had a lot of mm-hmm. opportunity to retreat and exactly. not do it. And, and he still shot through went the through. window. The nigga had to roll the window down. Mm. See what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga had to think of fucking dance bitch dance. Like it's the intent. That's why a lot of times when shit happens. And people get harder, harsher charges is based off mm. the intent of what they did. Yeah, you what, had too too accident. too many opportunities to kind of get it together, and I just feel I I, I feel bad for Megan. And no, let me not say feel bad, but I feel her pain because can you imagine the world and all these people just like doubting you and like discrediting you and. Now it turns out like you knew the truth, right? And I think that's the shit that must fuck with her is like, yeah, I've been screaming the truth all along, and, and nobody, you know, me. and nobody believed you. I just, I think that the people that said it wasn't true or whatever and said she's a liar, I think shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
And right now we need to lift her up. And this is going to sound really cliche, but we need to lift her up in prayer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. Because she's she going to need gonna all lie. the blessings said, and all the good word. I never said she wouldn't, you know, nothing ever happened to her. But I did for a while question who did it only because of what was coming out. Yeah. Now, it I was always, you got to think, it was very splotchy, the information yeah. we were getting. It was just like inconsistent. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, I knew she was injured. Of, yeah. yeah. I didn't know who did it for sure. Yeah, but he's still like. Motherfucker tried to take down a stallion. That yeah, shit crazy. You can't take down it, a stallion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nigga need a buffalo. Horse. The nigga need an ele- elephant gun to take I down a stallion. Saying. Not a pea shooter. So what's next? What do you, I mean, if I'm in, if uh, if you're in Meg's shoes, mm-hmm. like, how do, how do we move on from this? How do you, you know? She, I, I she, think she really needs to take her time. Don't feel rushed. Kind of really do some inner. And I think this is the other thing. And Cardi B pointed this out. And I was like, fuck, I completely forgot. I think that people don't remember or forget that she doesn't have these pillars in her life. And by pillars, I mean, she don't got her mom. She don't got her dad. Like, these are people that kind of help you and guide you through this. She, unfortunately, has lost her parents, right? I believe she lost one of her grandmothers. Like, these are a lot of monumental people in your life that kind of guide you through bullshit like this. So she's going through some traumatic shit and damn near alone. Like, yeah, she has her her boyfriend and her fans, but... Yeah, especially when it's a friend that also betrayed you in this situation. Right. When you mm-hmm. don't have family like that, friends, that's your family, you know? So, yeah. like, that must be The friend girl. is also, that situation just gets sketchier. Why did she perjure herself? If she knew for a fact this nigga called her and said, I'm sorry for what I did. I ain't never done no shit like that before in my life before. I think she said like, something like, I never seen her injured. Meanwhile, there's a video of, like, Megan, you okay? There's a video of her in the ambulance. <laughs> the the if she wasn't crucially hurt like that, the ambulance wouldn't have taken her. You are dumb. Like, dumb. <laughs> yeah, like, just dumb. She'll catch a charge because for Toy Lanes, you already admitted. You, you see what I'm saying? The statement. She's off. The, fact, the fact of the matter is she already snitched and then decided, to, oh, I plead a fifth. You can't plead a fifth when they ask you a yes or no question that doesn't incriminate you. They will. <laughs> If the, if you're in court, mm-hmm. just for this is for people who don't know, pleading right. the fifth is only when you're asked if you were done. If you if people they ask you if you did a crime, like you yourself. Yes, because it's only if you Good were to know. say something that would incriminate yourself. If they ask you, did Tory Lanes shoot her, and you already wrote that in your statement, and you say I plead the fifth, th- there's nothing to plead the fifth to. It's a yes or no mm. question because they already know you said it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the only do, thing you're doing is setting yourself up to get a perjury charge. So like, you only plead a fifth is if you go go in to answer a question and it's like, ooh, I was doing some shit too in this story that I'm gonna tell you, so I can't tell you. I have to plead a fifth. Mm-hmm. So like, if That's you was on the corner selling drugs with the guy you want you testifying against, and you mm-hmm. didn't tell them you was there selling drugs too, or like you had an illegal gun on you, you plead a fifth. Oh, it's, okay, it's the, that makes it's, sense. It's to not incriminate yourself. It's not so you don't have to speak in court. See, but it, it's something about it is giving me that she watches fucking Law and Order SVU First Forty Eight. Maybe I learned that she's not watching. She's not watching the whole episode, Jay. She's not watching the whole episode. Yeah, she ain't. She's just watching the the, the middle part. Yeah, they, I plead the fifth, I, and then she clocks out. Like, no, yeah. you gotta watch the whole thing too, babe. Just dumbness. dumbness. Watch the whole thing through. Dumbness personified. Well, Megan, I, t- you still my coach. Hey, Go ahead and get well, you some rest. Get you Megan get your Stein mind right. Got a, uh, she got a workout program on Nike training that. Hey, oh, she got that. a nice little hey. partnership with Nike. Yeah, she Honestly, got a nice job. Whatever's next for me, I think Megan Stallion already started going towards what's next. I she mean, she was in the me. MCU. I mean, she dropped the album in the middle of the ca- in the middle of the whole thing. Yeah, hey. in the past two years, she's done. Yeah. Since this happened, she's done nothing but grow even more. So, like, yeah. even people saying back then, what did she have? Two years ago, yeah, when this happened, she was already in this trajectory. So, like, it's not like her. I butchered that word, but it's not like she 
was like a bum bitch, like a bum bitch trying to get clout off of Tori. She had mm. she had more than this nigga. She was popping. She, she was popping. Pop. She got her she own really invitation was. to this Kylie party. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Right. <laughs> you ain't lying. Shit. Yeah, she'll be straight though. she be straight. I do feel you. She hey. should take some time, man. Shout out to uh Partisan, Fontaine, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hold her down, my brother. Hold her down, How, King. Hey, hey, hold her down, bro, because I know the restraints you had, brother. Oh, you are a six five giant, and he is a four foot eleven troll. And you could have whooped that man till no, <laughs> you could have killed that man with one punch. And you not even it. that though, bro. Not even that. This man ain't made one statement the whole time mm-hmm. with the courts going at his girl neck, talking about yep. all the men she done she done uh, slept with and all this stuff. And this man is just mm-hmm. like, I'm just stay solid. I ain't got no reason uh, to say that. Uh, what did he say? So did he say so? So he said something to Meg, and Meg said something in the courtroom. I believe that she said. It, he was embarrassed well, about like kind of well funny. this yeah. is my thing this is my thing I'm not saying that he don't have a right to be embarrassed but in the same breath it's like my nigga do you not hear the raps that your girl like spits well no, <laughs> you, but like, his, you know what but I mean no, like it's it's different it's different because imagine you don't know who your girl who the person you're with slept with mm-hmm. and then you find out in the public. Wow. So that's where the embarrassment could come from because you don't know where it's coming from. Damn, that's embarrassing, man. I, yeah, I can see why. Yeah, but it's also it's still like, like hey, we're like at didn't this care. big ass age. I, I, I give it to him that I don't think he cared when he got with it. Like, I know you, yeah. laugh, I know you had a history. We don't got to talk about that. Exactly. But And like, you can still be embarrassed. That doesn't mean. He's gonna fucking like, I hate this bitch. Ah, he's just like, that's yeah, that's not that's all, all your business is put out in the world, and it's like, oh, I didn't know all your business. And it's like, that's a little embarrassing. I'd be embarrassed too because it's out in the public. Like, if we had this conversation privately, like, I feel like the only reason you'd be embarrassed is if you didn't know who they were. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like. I, I I feel like he was pretty solid through this whole situation. Yeah, I, mean, I will hey, say, I yeah. The mm-hmm. fact that he has not snatched up Tory is impressive. Yeah, and I think it's 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 more it's more impressive because the a level of restraint. Yes, that has to take. Oh, I know. I would have wanted to kill him. Yeah. I mean, it was before we start. We before we were together, but like once you know emotions and then all the shit happening after the fact, like. He should need to snatch the baby's ass up. He need to snatch Drake up. Like, he need to snatch all these dudes up. And he did it. Yeah. yeah. How how yeah. tall is Drake? He ain't... He ain't t- Partisan Fonte was is about to play D1 man. basketball. Yeah, he is. No, no, yeah. no, but I'm, you're not... Y'all he probably like 5'10". He probably how like tall is he's Drake? like average Drake? height. Yeah, he's like yeah. average height, I feel like. Okay. Why? I was just you, see. I was just trying to see if there was a pattern here. Leave the short the baby, man alone, Kadisha. <laughs> leave him alone. They just, can't take I'm it just anymore. at this point. I'm just you know picking they up data. Fragile. They fragile I, I'm, I'm they just little. picking up data because I don't want to make it seem like I'm just pulling shit out my ass. I, I just you know <laughs> I got data points at this. Point. Oh, Drake's like five eleven, six. Okay. Okay. Oh damn. Okay. 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 Average day on the damn it. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> That's wild. That is Meg the Stallion wild. is vindicated finally. I don't want to hear nobody coming up to be talking about. You know she still lied, nigga. He admitted it. Li- <laughs> and admitted literally it admitted on it. recorded tape, on a recorded line. Ain't and, and he knew the line was recorded. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> they tell you. Well, how they do, tell how do, you? Oh, they tell you before the call goes yeah. through. Oh, oh they, you're right. It's ca- an automated. Everybody, yeah, everybody. They, it's oh, an automated shit. system. You know it's recorded. This motherfucker slow for real. Yeah, on that bullshit. I mean, he must have really <laughs> felt bad. At least you knew he actually felt bad. But like, fuck that nigga. I'll ooh, never forget ooh. when he released that damn album on the day Breonna Taylor's uh the Breonna Taylor verdict was uh announced. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah he did do that shit. It, just, it, it don't make a lick of sense to me. The but. failure of the black man. He Canadian. I don't he get can, that yeah. nigga no credit. 
Don't hey. put that nigga hey. in a black man's <laughs> house. Man. No. Tyler, you, this has been your narrative for years. If they ain't from America, I don't want to hear it. I'm not counting this black man shit. No, Drake is a <laughs> Canadian ass nigga. So Story you can't be Canadian and, and black? Yeah, dollar. You can, but you're not part of this conversation. You gotta be part <laughs> of that conversation. Like whatever you, going on on the north. Whatever's going on in the north, that's what y'all that need way. to worry about. Oh, yeah, yeah, the north. That's the north shit. I don't know, oh, man. man. <laughs> that's how they talk. Hey, eh? I don't know. Y'all want to be hard in Canada? Y'all go do that shit in Canada, man. Don't come down here acting like you a black man in America. No, right? Bro, that shit Try to act hard. This shit it ain't like that. In, it ain't like that in in Canada. I don't know for a fact. They still owned by the British. That ain't my problem. Y'all go. Y'all <laughs> sounds like a European yeah. issue. He's like, that sounds like a big time Euro issue. Yo, that sounds like international on. affairs. It's not the- like, nah, bro. You ain't don't, don't put Tory Lanes on black men. Whatever Drake up to, don't put that shit on black men. I don't want. It. <laughs> I don't fucking well. want. Well, oh shit. I'm sorry. Thank you.